Hi, my name is Bonnie Morales. I'm the chef owner of Kachka Restaurant. Today I'm cooking Sulyotka Potrubay, um, which translates to herring under a fur coat. Basically a layered salad. A uh, star ingredient would be the salted herring. It's covered in a layer of different vegetables. When we have family over, specifically any sort of uh, Russian gathering, it's part of the cold zakuski table. Zakuski are uh, dishes meant to go with the beginning of the meal. It's part of toasting and getting together and, and merriment. For ingredients for the fur coat, we have uh, house-made mayonnaise, um, with sunflower oil as the base, but store-bought can be substituted. Fingerling potatoes, egg, carrot, sweet onion, uh, beet that's been roasted off already, a um, little bit of dill, and the salt-cured herring, specifically salt-cured, the pickled um, would lend a different flavor to the dish. We're gonna start off by cooking these off and the egg. Hard-boil the egg. Um, bring it to a boil, turn off the heat, and uh, let it sit for 10 minutes, get in an ice bath. The carrot and the potato just need to cook until they are knife tender. So while waiting for the vegetables and the egg to cook, uh, we'll make a little herring mixture. We'll start by getting the fillets um, cut down to a small dice. I use sweet onion because it's less harsh um, raw. Then, uh, regular yellow onions are. Nice, uh, small dice. With dill, you don't need to pick every single leaf off. You just don't want anything really branchy. So this right here, um, I would avoid. I'd say it's about a tablespoon of minced dill. about two tablespoons that I added there. Clean the roasted beef that I have set aside. A box grater works great. I like these flat ones. Um, I think they're more flexible where you can use them. But just want to grate it by hand. Uh, like maybe about a tablespoon's worth. And put it in a mixing bowl and add the mayonnaise to it. So now that all the veggies are done, um, we're going to start processing those. The waxy potatoes do um, keep their shape a little bit better, which is another reason to use that over a russet. Um, that is, again, not essential. The hard-boiled egg now needs to be peeled and uh, the yolks and the white separated. Um, I like peeling eggs underwater, so um, if you have a bowl of water handy, it's a good way to go. It just makes the, the friction a little lessened. So we're going to use a small uh, strainer to uh, sieve the yolk and the white. Uh, if it's too fine, it might be a little hard to do, so pay attention, make sure it's not like super, super, super fine mesh. Grab a spoon and just push it through. You could also finely chop your whites and yolks if you don't want to fuss. So, we're going to do the same thing with the yolks, just a separate pile. Now we're going to get ready to assemble. We have all of the components that we need, and we'll get started. This is called a ring mold. So you want to put the potatoes in um, nice even coating, probably about a quarter inch of height in this mold, um, making sure not to smush it down too, too much. You do want it to be even, so you do want to run the spoon around a little bit, but again, not to make a total, like, uh, mashed potato cake. Add a little bit of salt. We're going to put our herring mixture in um, that's been waiting for us. Um, and this is the, the component you probably want the most of, so don't be shy about it. The carrot will need just about a tablespoon's worth. It's just a nice thin layer. And add a little tiny, tiny pinch of salt, just enough to season the carrots. And then onto the next layer, which is the grated beets. And again, smooth it out. It helps a little bit to turn the plate as you go. Another bit of salt. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. So I'm going to add uh, the yolks to the center here, just like so. 
We're all finished with this now, just uh, needs the mold removed and uh, we'll see all the pretty layers that are hiding underneath. So here we have the finished herring under fur coat. Really simple, easy to prepare, great for summertime for a nice cold appetizer. Um, hope you give it a try.